published 1952 Eastern Standard Time, the 28th of December 2017, updated 2112 Eastern Standard Time, the 28th of December 2017. Rose Marie, the wisecracking Sally Rogers of the Dick Van Dyke Show and a show business lifer who began as a Bob Tear child star in Vaudeville and worked for nearly a century in theatre, radio, TV and movies, died Thursday, she was 94, Marie had been resting in bed at her Los Angeles area home when a caretaker found she had stopped breathing, said family spokesman Harlan Bow. Passed away, Rose Marie, the wise-cracking Sally Rogers of the Dick Van Dyke Show and a show business lifer who began as a Bob Tear child star in vaudeville and worked for nearly a century in theatre, radio, TV and movies, died Thursday, pictured 1961, heaven just got a whole lot funnier, was the tribute posted atop a photo of Marie on her website. She was a child star of the 1920s and 1930s who endeared herself to TV. Fans on the classic, 60s sitcom that featured Van Dyke and Mary Tyler Moore. The subject of the 2017 documentary Wait For Your Laugh, Marie often claimed she had the longest career in entertainment history. It spanned some 90 years, with co-stars ranging from W.C. Fields to Garfield the Cat, and the highlight for many was The Dick Van Dyke Show. The sitcom was widely loved for its sophisticated writing, inspired casting and insightful view of the inner workings of the then new medium of television. The Van Dyke starred as Rob Petrie, head writer for a hit comedy variety show and Mary Tyler Moore in her first major role, played his wife Laura, classic hit, she was a child star of the 1920s and 1930s who endeared herself to TV fans on the classic, 60s sitcom that featured Van Dyke and Mary Tyler Mirth Blonde, raspy voiced Marie teamed with her pal Maury Amsterdam as assistant writers. Drawing on his experiences on Sid Caesar's shows, Carl Reiner created the series, wrote and directed many episodes and made occasional appearances as the surly star, Alan Brady. After an uncertain beginning in 1961, the Dick Van Dyke show caught on with TV viewers, was still popular when it ended in 1966 and remained a favorite for decades in reruns. The Dick Van Dyke Show not only was an ideal vehicle for Marie's comic gifts, but was a showcase for her singing, with Sally belting out Come Rain, Come Shine and other old favorites during nightclub and party scenes. Marie was especially proud of playing a woman defined by her work, a rare sitcom character. At the time who wasn't a wife, mother or housekeeper, she tweeted in 2017. Heartbroken, Marie's Twitter account announced her passing on Thursday the actress did have conflicts with Reiner, resenting that Moore was given more prominence than her on the show. Reiner, speaking in Wait For Your Laugh, bluntly pushed back. I used real strong language, he recalled. I said, you both have beautiful legs. They wanna look at her legs, nominated three times for Emmys, Rose Marie had yet to turn 40 when she joined the Van Dyke cast, but had been an entertainer for more than 30 years. She was born Rose Marie Mazeter of Italian-Polish parentage in New York City on August 15, 1923. When she was three, her mother entered her in an amateur talent contest in Atlantic City as baby Rose Marie. My mother was terrified, she recalled in a 1992 interview with the Associated Press. But I went out and sang, what can I say, dear, after I say I'm sorry, and won the contest, stardom, in this April 11th, 1963, file photo, standing from left Maury Amsterdam, Rose Marie, and Richard Deacon, and Dick Van Dyke.